Hey, it's Laura Raposa from Track Gals TV. I'm here with Mike Gorman, Tommy Heinzen, legendary broadcast duo for the Boston Celtics. They're celebrating 30 years. 25 years is silver, 50 years is gold. What's 30? You gotta be kidding me. That's what it is. It's like, wow, you gotta be kidding me. It's brownies. <laughs> Or Dove Bars if we're on the plane. Oh, Dove Bars? Okay. In fact, I have a brownies question. Good segue. Diane Cannon told us that she bakes you brownies yes, when you does. do the Lakers games. She has brought brownies by us. She's very nice that way. She can go and just drop some off. You know? They're not funny brownies. They're real brownies. They're real brownies. Real brownies, yeah. 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 She's yeah. a real fan. And uh, Penny Marshall used to uh, also bake um, uh, brownies. Uh, not brownies. Uh, chocolate chip cookies and deliver them at halftime. Penny Marshall? Yes. Really? Yeah, yeah, she's a big fan. My point being that these are fans, die-hard Laker fans, but would deliver brownies to you guys from the Boston Celtics. If you, if you hang around long enough, we're lovable. <laughs> The rivalry between the Celtics and the Miami Heat. Do you think this year it's going to be stronger than a Celtics Lakers rivalry? You mean the other three? Yeah. No. The, the other three. Um, That's Mike's name put them out. The other. Three. The other three. The other three. I don't think it's going to uh, be as big as people think once we get by opening night, because mm -hmm. um, I think the Celtics over the long haul are going to be the better team. I'm I'm in the minority. I don't think this is going to work. I don't think when you're 23, 24 years old, you can have the same sense of urgency that Kevin Ray and Paul did when they were in their early 30s. One, two, three years from now, Miami may be really a factor. This year, I think it's going to be a bumpy road for them. I like to hear that. I think that uh, Mike is uh, onto something there because uh, uh, one of the things that uh, was so evident when uh, the Celtics put their big three together was the fact that uh, they, the, each one of those players had a terrific personal resume and the only thing they were missing was a championship. And these other players down in Miami, they're so young as Mike mentioned, that uh, they're still trying to build up their resume and uh, uh, championships they would like to have but it's not, I don't believe it's a consuming thing as it was with the three guys we got.